I'm making a run down to my job real quick. Uh, do I want to go this way? Uh, maybe I will. Look at this. Ah! This shit go, bro. I need to chill out, man. I'm going down the rest of this street like this. I'm bugging. And uh there's a police officer right there. Oh no, he parked. Woo! Man. I'm always forgetting that this bike has a whole bunch of storage compartments and shit. I got bags now that I could bring cold water. So I ain't gotta be out here suffering. I'm gonna go in here real quick. This is the key. Well, it's not even the key. It's a key fob. So the 2024 is coming with a key fob because they do not have an ignition key. As long as this is within, I believe, six feet of the Harley, you can start the bike. And if you ever lose this or it dies, you can set a pin code. That way you can start the bike without the fob. So literally, I do have my pin code set. If you really want to, you can just go ahead and start the bike. How you doing, brother? How you doing? Everything good with you, man? Right. Um, if you really want to, you can just start the bike every time and leave this key fob at home. As long as you know your pin code. I'm sure that's not what it was built for, but you can use it repeatedly. I have no complaints in regards to my 2024 Road Glide thus far. And what's up, man? How you doing, bro? Ah, what you? Yeah, man. I just I just coming down. I'm off today actually, but I'm coming up here to grab something from out of my desk of my office. Good seeing you, brother. Thanks, man. You too. And uh. So, this is a good environment, man. Great place to work. I will be right back again. Ah. You two were shaking. I'm just leaving work. And, uh... I figured, why not bring you guys out for this ride? Let y'all come join me since I haven't made that video yet. So we're going to do that today, all right? Uh, Bikers Row here at the VA hospital. Uh, here we go. Look, y'all. Always be careful for any new riders out there. Pay attention to gravel and where you guys are at. Because this shit right here can have you really, really pretty much leave you in a, not the best spot look this road guard is an amazing bike super dope but there are some things I gotta get used to and you may have to get used to as well if you're coming from a sport bike number one thing turn signals Pickup is no joke. Man, the torque on this thing is ridiculous. And this is top. Just imagine if I change my cams up and maybe run up on the stage two or something. Why the fuck you sitting all the way back there for you stupid ass? But yeah, just in, just imagine if I actually decided to do some engine upgrades. How much torque? This will produce. What I was hearing was it would go up to like 150 foot pounds of torque, maybe even more. 178 horsepower or something. Like I said, that's what I heard. <laughs> Bro, where have you been all my life? If y'all or any of y'all I'll say are thinking about getting a road glide, street glide, whatever, cruiser, go grab it. And I ain't talking about no damn Ducati, X Diablo or some bullshit, DFL, however you pronounce it. That's not a cruiser. I'm talking about a real legitimate cruiser. <sighs> it's hot, y'all. Y'all see that? Say 103. 
Like I said, there were some adjustments. That's going to take getting a little bit used to if you're coming from a sport bike. Considering sport bikes, you know our turn signals are always on the left side, left and right, same switch. Whereas it's on these road glides and street glides and probably other cruisers as well. The right turn signal is on the right, left turn signal is on the left. So that's one adjustment that I gotta that I gotta really get used to. The other adjustment is sometimes when I get on this bike, instead of putting my feet on the boards, I wanna kick my feet back because on a sport bike the pegs are back here, like damn near where the passenger pegs are. So that's another little adjustment. But in time, in time, I'm getting used to it. Let me get gas real quick. Alright y'all. <clears throat> so let's get back on the road. So we can uh, I can get home, hopefully beat this rush hour. This could be my first time riding this bike in rush hour traffic. I've been trying to avoid it. But hey. What better time to do it than now? Well, where was I? We were talking about adjustments. Yeah, so foot adjustment, foot placement sometime, it may take you a little bit getting used to. Also, the turn signals may take you a little bit getting used to. One complaint I do have so far in regards to this bike are these handlebars. Look, you can move them. Now, what is that? Is that a sticker or something? But uh, you can move these. I already know why you can. The bushings that's down in here are rubber. And they do make polyurethane bushings to put in here and replace those, which pretty much everybody that has these 2024s do. Now, I don't know if this was a problem with one of the previous models, but on this model, like I said, you see this movement? That's not cool at all. So I already got the bushings, but I just haven't installed them yet. But that's my first complaint. The only other complaint I'll say I have so far is the brakes. I'm not a big fan of these brakes. I mean, they work as brakes. They're brakes. <laughs> but maybe I'm spoiled coming from a sport bike, having Brimbos and shit. Listen to them zombies. Oh, uh, yo, let me close my face shield real quick. Man, this bike, shit, got some pickup. So this is the Skyline Infotainment Center system. And another video I'll show you guys how that all works and all of the different knickknacks and trinkets that offers but I'm just not doing that in this video <sighs> everywhere you look out here they building fixing something but uh, this bike man I don't know what to say I have zero complaints besides the two complaints that I've mentioned to you thus far Remember, I've only had it a month now, a month and some change, and this is only my third time riding a bike, so I'm sure maybe as time goes, more things may pop up. Hopefully not. At least today is not overly damn hot. It's 103. That's better than damn 116. You know what? I'm going to go this way. Hold on for your life. Where have you been all my life? I love this bike. Why did it take me so long to get this? That was a point in time I didn't want to hear nothing to do about getting a cruiser. But thank y'all didn't know I did have a cruiser back in 2016. I had a 2016 Yamaha Raider Bullet Car. Come on, man. I don't like sitting in this damn traffic. It's hot. So this is not my first cruiser. That one was more like a chopper, but still a cruiser, yeah. 
But big boy, this is my first. If any of y'all are on the fence and considering or wondering if you should get a cruise or not, stop thinking about it and just do it. Look at that! Yo, the pickup! It's preposterous! <laughs> I love this shit! I'm gonna let y'all know now, when we hit the freeway, I'm not gonna be talking no more. Maybe a little bit, but I'm just gonna be riding and I just wanna enjoy the ride for a little bit, listen to some music. Alright? Jam out a little bit. Alright, I need to get up off of here, man. Don't even say it, y'all. Y'all probably think like, this nigga over here riding this damn road glide like it's a sport bike. Nah, not yet. Not yet. Don't judge me. Let me ride my shit the way I'm gonna ride it, alright? Just because it's a cruiser don't mean I got a cruise on it. <laughs> All right, this stop and go traffic rate fucking drive me nuts. It is hot, man. I guess I'm not gonna be catching a green wave this time. This light green, so when this one turn green, now we're gonna turn red. No, my luck. Bear with the wind a little bit, y'all. Just rock with me for a second. I'm gonna keep saying this. I truly hope this video gives y'all a different perspective. of this cruiser life or obtaining, purchasing, whatever you want to call it, copping a cruiser. I do want to clarify one thing though. A lot of people, I think Harley riders get a bad rep because most of these motherfuckers don't wear helmets, I guess. Obviously, I'm gonna wear a helmet, but I've heard a lot of people say the Harley community are a bunch of prick assholes. I'm finding things to be quite different. I've actually found, since I've got this Harley, I found this community to be way more welcoming than a sport bike community, to be honest with you. Way more. So, maybe it's just y'all some beta male ass motherfuckers and y'all don't fit in well. But uh, look yo, that's all I got. The rest of this ride, I'm just going to enjoy the ride. And I'm gonna be over here jamming out. So, That's what we're going to be doing now, alright? Now we can open up a little bit. 
I know, I know, she ain't a damn sport bike. But I need to know what she can do. I'm glad I ain't in that shit over there. Which is shocking. Why's the traffic that's going into Phoenix? Usually that traffic. That's right. 